Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today I have a review, an unboxing, and an assembly video for a product that I'm very passionate about. Um, not sponsored whatsoever with Gunner Kennels. I bought these kennels just like you would buy them uh, at the rate that you get them. So I just wanted to jump on here and do this review, do an unboxing, do an installation or assembly video, and just kind of show you a couple different things. So some of you who are watching this video, you might have questions about um, you know, how to assemble it. You might have uh, already bought one and you just want to see my take on it. And then some of you might be doing some research and seeing if Gunner Kennel is really for you. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you again for joining and we'll see you at the end. One thing that Gunner has done really well is they've came out with uh, different colors of these kennels. Um, they've had a teal one. Uh, I know when I got this one two years ago, just two weeks after I got the gray one, they came out with like an army uh, green. Uh, they've had several different shades of green, I believe, and tans. And they just recently came out with a midnight black one, which kind of hit home for me. I love color black and anything that I buy. So I bought two of them, not only because one's gonna be in my wife's vehicle and the other one's gonna be in my truck, but we're planning on getting another dog and we'll need another one in the future so that I can run two dogs. But this one that I'm about to unbox and assemble is the Midnight Black one. It looks super sweet in the photo, so I can't wait to get it unboxed. So this is the first gunner kennel that I bought. This is a G1 intermediate gunner kennel that I bought for Pastor. Um, I got a couple of different extras with it. I got the, the weather cover for that folds down over top of the um, you know, side spot or side windows and protects them from weather elements. And then I also got the nameplate, which is a very nice touch. And then the performance pad that's in here. There's not much cushion to this, but it is a little bit more, a little bit flimsy, but it keeps him from having to kind of just lay in there in the bare, uh, in the bare box there. So that's, that's a good touch. And then also, there's this little eyelet right here where I can just wrap a chain in this and then secure it to my truck so that nobody steals it. That's different than the straps that you can ratchet down to your truck to secure it to the truck while you're driving, make sure that it doesn't move around, which, you know, the bottom of these have some rubber feet on them, so it, it doesn't really move around much anyway. But, you know, this is the one that I've had for two years now. It's held up really good. Pastor loves it. He fits really well in it. And I'll bring him down and put him in the new one whenever I get it and kind of show you how that fits as well. So we'll just kind of start taking all this stuff out. Sitting over here to the side, the black, just automatically, the black just looks so sweet, man. The door set up here. This must be all the hardware. Pretty simple. It looks like three pieces, four pieces, including the door and the boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this out of the, the wrapper. Yeah, man, this, <laughs> the black looks so, so good. So after unboxing, it's come with uh, four main pieces, obviously, so it has the hardware box, the door, and then the top and the bottom of the kennel. So it's very, very pretty, pretty much streamlined, uh, very easy to assemble, so I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so they come with bolts. The bolts doesn't have a nut because there's threads that are up in the uh, kennel itself that they've actually molded up in here. So um, there's, a, there's a bolt and a washer that you'll put in here, but it tells you in the instructions, do not, you know, kind of get these started, but don't tighten them up. So that's what we're gonna do now. Just kind of line it up. So that's started. 
and I've got a little bit of separation there. So I'm gonna leave that like that. And I'm gonna do the other ones. There's six of these. So I got all my bolts started. I have not finished or tightened them up. The reason why they want you to do that is so that the door can fit in here and the frame of the door can fit in here. And then you, you attach the frame of the door and then you tighten everything together and just kind of, you know, pulls everything in nice and tight. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so something to note, and it's a key feature on this, they have locks, just they're not keyed locks, but it's just a lock that just secures the door different from this lock that's on the handle, which we'll get to here in a second. But it came with these locks, so you'll just have to push these to the unlock so that you can open it up and ultimately be able to install your frame to the candle. All right, I'm installing my top one first. So unfortunately, during the editing of this video, I lost videos and audio files. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, that hole right there is just an access hole that you can put your Allen wrench through to tighten up the, the bolts behind the hinge that holds the door to the frame. And then you just go back around and tighten up all the bolts uh, that will secure the frame to the body of the kennel. And so the, the ones that you're seeing here, the ones below and above the latch, and it just pulls everything together nice and neat. So you don't get to see me do the rest of the assembly, but from here it's pretty simple. All you do is you put in the bolts, the six bolts that are around the kennel, and you hand tighten them and then go back around with your wrench to secure everything. And the last thing I did was I put Pastor's nameplate on the door, and that's secured by four screws. It's a nice touch, and it's a really beautiful kennel. So final thoughts on this thing. I'm not affiliated with Gunner at all, but what I can tell you is, is that I'm a user, and I buy it just like you would buy it at the price that you pay. I know that there's a lot of controversy around that price of $750 kennel. I can justify the price to you. I mean, I do the sport that I love um, with the dog that I love and I wanna protect him. That's the bottom line. The second thing is, is I buy a lot of equipment for the sport, you know, $2,000 gun, however much money and decoys, all the ammunition that you need to kill the birds, all the stuff that you put in your boat, your fuel. You know, it's, it takes a lot of money to do this sport, but what I would say is, is that you wanna protect your dog. You wanna, you know, I love my dog, I appreciate him. And one of the ways that I can show my appreciation is at least keep him safe. You know, when I'm in the blind with people, especially new people, I always give a speech, you know, when my dog's out in the field or he's working out in range, you know, your, your guns are up and unloaded. So I want to protect my dog at all costs in a $750 kennel. I don't blink an eye at because, you know, heaven forbid I, there comes a day where I get in a wreck. I want the safety for myself, my family, and my dog. I think that there's ways to justify it. I think that it's a really good uh, kennel and uh, there's, there's facts and data to back that up. I'm probably preaching to a lot of choir members here, but if you have any questions, just reach, reach out to me and hopefully this video has given you enough information and data that you need to go, at, go ahead and buy one. Again, I'm not a salesman or affiliate with Gunner, so I don't have any codes that I can provide you with, but um, we appreciate you following along and watching this video. It's been a pleasure just to show you guys the assembly, the unboxing, and then my review. So thank you so much for listening to my opinion. Leave some comments in the, in the comment section below. I'll try to respond to as many that I can, but like and subscribe to this video for more. I'm gonna be having a lot of different reviews and a lot of different unboxings in the future. We appreciate it. And as always, happy hunting.